kick us off with uh, an introduction. Tell everyone who you are, where you're from, and what you do. Yeah, I'm the boy, boy West Coast, man. I'm rapping out of Santa Barbara, California, and I've been doing it about like a little over two years now. Yeah, there it I'm is. Loving every day of it. <laughs> so I can't wait to get into this, man. I, yeah. I have so many questions. Do you? Yeah, I do. Oh, and, yeah. and I'm so like, <laughs> I, I, I'm so uh, sort of mesmerized by like the point that you're at right now because like you're exploding. Am I? Hell you're yeah. everywhere, man. That's right. And that's no, what you said before we started. You're like, man, I don't know why, but all my interviews are getting a lot of views. It's because you're like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just like so unaware of it. Yeah, like every day, like when, even I'm still like surprised when people see me. Like we'll, we're walking down the street and people like be in their cars like, and I'm like, hey, what up? Yeah, I'm always down man. like, I'll, if I see them, I'm like, you want to take a picture? I'm still like, yeah. yeah. And telling like a lot of fan pictures, I look way more excited than them and shit. I'm like, yeah. fuck it all. And they're just like, <laughs> that's so, amazing. Yeah, man, no, so just so new to me that I love it. For sure. Tell me, uh. I mean, I guess from the beginning, like, where, like, when did rapping become, or when did music become part of your life? Oh, music's always been in my life, man. I was always, um, it was always like therapy for me, man. Music would help me like get away, like, uh, you know, I had like a lot of trouble and stuff going on as a kid, so like music was always just therapeutic and helped me like clear my mind and shit. I was just like getting away bumping music and shit. But um, it didn't like, I never thought of being an artist until like just a couple years ago. I was always just in trouble and didn't really like know what the fuck I was headed to or what I was gonna do. And then it's just like, I knew a lot of, I grew up like around a lot of rappers and stuff or a lot of like musical people and shit. And it was just like, it was either like, I knew it was either like get into music or do something like that or you're just gonna be in trouble the rest of your life. And then fucking one thing led to another. Yeah. What type of music did you listen to when you were younger? Like old school West Coast shit, usually yeah. like, you know, Snoop Dogg and fucking Ice Cube, Dr. Dre and shit like that. But I mean, like East Coast music that made it out here, I bumped that shit too. Fucking yeah. like Locks and shit like that, Styles P. Yeah. Like, I listen to everything. Yeah. Underground, for, or like, no, well, like Underground Brother Lynch and shit. Um, yeah. T.I. when he first came up. Like, I remember all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what about like when you first started rapping like what did that look like did you have like a mic in your bedroom like what, what was the setup nah it took me a while like sure yeah this funny stories about it. like i'd go like to a homie's pad and like uh he'd be there like he would do like you know chicano type rap or whatever and then i'd go over there and like i'd show him the beat or whatever and he like and i'd start like singing a song and shit and like like as i'm recording all the homies would be like looking at me and like what the fuck is this fool like dude like you know because yeah. that just wasn't the style like everyone would, like if you were like gangster you rapped about like homie shit like they're like what the fuck is this fool singing about or whatever yeah. so like I just like had to wait it out until I find like the right engineer that like knew like what I was trying to do and knew how to like elevate that. And, like yeah. so yeah, cause yeah, at first like the homies like what the fuck is this for doing? Like <laughs> yeah. dog, like he brought this for here and he's doing this kind of fucking melodies and shit. Yeah. So, so your he, style was always kind of like this. How yeah, I always like was uh, for, yeah. Ever since I was a guy, I always just like pop like upbeat kind of like I still like hit it with my gangster style and shit, but I always just like upbeat kind of like cool music. Yeah. You wonder yeah. what I'm I'm fascinated by too is like, mo. I think most people that have like kind of a unique thing like that early on switch it up because of all the outside pressure. So why didn't you? What made you stick to your thing when everyone was telling you like, yo, that's yeah, not people how tri- we? Yeah, like I'll see comments they'll be like, oh, your song looks like like people act like, or they'll say like my song seems like it came out in like mid two thousands or you know like it's like an old school kind of vibe like yeah, fucking on. That's just what I know. Like that's my shit. I like yeah. that a fucking. Uh, Fuck, the early 2000s was a shit. So now, like, you know, that's like, I don't know. People say that, like, this sounds like it could have came out, like, 10 years ago. And I'm like, well, good music doesn't have, like, a time frame. So, I mean, fucking. But, yeah, I just I just stick to my guns, like, what I know. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, certain, like, beats and shit. Now the label tries to, like, get me to, like, do different styles. More, like, upbeat pop or, like, more whatever. Or yeah. whatever. But, like, I'm all down for it. I could um, switch it up a little. But I always like to stick to, like, what made me me. You know, yeah. like, keep a little... Little like hood gangster pop yeah, and shit. You. Um, what like early on were you building like a buzz around your area or like what what, what did it look like before this song started taking off? Before the song took off, yeah, yeah I was just like I had like um, no, I just like I had like a full I was like a bartender and I just kind of used music as like my therapeutic time to keep me out of trouble and shit. It was never like really like. I didn't write the song with like an intention, like this is gonna fucking blow me up and yeah. shit. Like, nah, it was just another session that day too. Yeah. When we laid up the verses and shit, it wasn't like I recorded it and I was gonna be like, this is the song that's gonna fucking take me to the next level. Yeah. Like, so were you like at the bar, like were you working at the bar, like writing lyrics and stuff like that? Nah, I, um, nah, the chick that like I that, that I made the song about, she was a bartender, and then like, mm. uh, like I liked her, but she wasn't having it, and so like I went to bartending school, and then I got out, and then I worked at the same bar she she worked at for a little bit, got it. and then that's when I wrote the song and shit, but. 
She still ain't having it. <laughs> even now? Yeah, even now. She like she like barely like hit me up the other day and like said like oh thank you and shit, but she's still like it's cool. Dude, that's messed up. Like, well, I'm I'm like, sure. Get out of the guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about you. I know, I'm like, ah, some girls just ain't having it. <laughs> <laughs> um and then so take me through like because I know, at least from what I heard, the story of the actual song blowing up is a little unique. Like, did it, it started catching fire, like, online, or you made a yeah. video about it? Or, like, yeah, I was just in my pad. Like, the, the the first original video was just, like, me in my bedroom and shit. Like, I was just, like, kicking it bored in my room one day, and I just made the video and shit. And then, like, it took, like, yeah, like, I've seen, I've seen like, a, like, reports about it and people be like was it like his flamboyant movements or was it the fact that like he that it was the catchy song itself or was it the fact that he what's in his cup and shit or like yeah. whatever like it was just I guess like a little bit of everything that just like all came together and made it like and they say like I have like a distinct look or whatever my facial features I don't know yeah so like yeah I guess all that shit let me ask you this when you were from your perspective when you were making the video did you think like this is the thing like it sounds like this is what, once again, this is what I love about this stuff, is it sounds like when you were making the record, you didn't think like, this is the one that's gonna blow me up. No. When you were making the video, it didn't, you didn't think like, this video is about to go, go viral. viral. No, like you can see like my closet doors open, there's like a fan going like right by me and shit. Like I was just kicking in my room, it wasn't like, I was, I was like literally just chilling and shit. It wasn't like, this fucking video is about to like, no, yeah. nothing like that. And then where did it start to gain steam at? What platform? Um. Uh, Instagram and then TikTok. Instagram, like, um, rappers would be showing me love, man. Like, fucking Puya posted it on his page and shit. I remember I was in the studio that morning and Puya, uh, and I didn't even know who he was at the time. And then I'm like, who the fuck's Puya? But my engineer knew who he was. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, yeah, like, that was blowing up. And then, like, fucking, uh, he shared it on his page, just, like, complimenting it. And then, like, as I was in the studio, it just started fucking following, follow, like, just going viral. And then shit, like, um, Jack Black posted it on his podcast. And then, like, it just became, like, and then from there, it like went into a funny meme, and everybody just wanted to like you know do like their own spin on the video, or yeah. um, and then TikTok and shit. And yeah. TikTok it just went crazy. Everybody wanted to fucking do a little spin on it and shit. And then uh, from there, it just kept going. going it's going. still going here. It's yeah. still going here. Like people still send me videos, and I appreciate it. I love it all, man. It's dope. Yeah, because I still don't feel like like if you look at kind of these moments, uh, like an arc. I don't think you're at the top of this particular moment. You're far from the top of your career, but I mean, like, even of this song. Like, I think this song is going to continue to get more radio play and more, like, enter into that world. Like, that's yeah. how it feels. Hell, shit, I hope. Nah, but yeah, we just shot the video for it yesterday. Got so, it. yeah, we just did the video yesterday, and then, like, yeah, I'm doing a lot of radio promo right now and just uh, trying to let everybody know about it. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a dope-ass song, so, I mean, I hopefully it does it. I'm pretty sure it'll do good. It'll yeah. cool. And what's like the time frame of like when, from, what's the time frame from when you first started feeling it blow up to now? I would say like barely like two, two months ago or something mm. like that. Like even like when I was beginning, like, I mean, I was blow, like I was blowing up, but I just so was unaware of it and shit. Like I was just, I've always just been like a really reserved person. So like I'd be getting emails from labels and shit and I just thought it was all spam. So yeah. it was literally like two weeks before I even started replying back. Like I just told my uncle one day, I'm like, hey, a bunch of people were like emailing me saying crazy shit yeah and then he went through them and he like google who they were and they were all like legit like they were <laughs> all legit labels like trying to contact me and i was like oh shit that's so funny. and then from there that's where it just snowballed and then i'd go meet the label and then even then though it's like still surreal and like yo that song is fire and I'm yeah like, is it I'm like hell yeah i guess damn man but i'm still like it's still so surreal that's why like when i see fans and they're like excited i'm probably more excited than them and shit sure. I'm like, yeah, it's just trippy it's like if I tell people, like, it's like if you were just walking down the street and they're like, you, we're going to make you famous. And yeah. they're like, oh, like, fucking next week you're just fucking <laughs> yeah. blowing up. And it's like. Yeah. I could sense that in your, like, when I DM'd you. And I was like, yo, what's up, man? Blah, blah. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah, hell yeah. And then yeah, hell yeah. Like everybody, like, even, like when everybody hits me, I'm fucking like, yeah, like, even, like, right now when I met you, I'm like, this fool seems very, like, fucking upbeat and, like, yeah. clear. Like, I don't know. Maybe it was just I haven't seen the show in a while. But from Robin Big, you always seem kind of baked or something. Oh, that was my thing, man. Yeah, okay, like, yeah. Like, like, he's like, chilling and shit. And that's why I met you. I'm like, he's very alert and with it right now. Yeah. Like, fuck. <laughs> Makes me seem like I need it. But, yeah. So, that's, that's good. It. But, yeah, I always trip. Like, any famous, like, fucking. Because me, growing up, I was, just, I was always just a normal person. So, like. When people like you or anybody hits me up, I'm like tripping that they're even real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this is like, oh shit, it's drama from Robin Big. Like yeah. that's how I was tripping. Bro, like, I'm the same way. You, you like, came walking up, I'm like, oh shit, it's the dude. <laughs> like yeah, people said they try. They said that to me, like it's you. I'm like motherfucker, it's you. Yeah, like I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Like I'm always just more. Yeah, welcome to here. Hollywood, man. That's yeah. how it works. That's what's happening in all those fancy parties. Everyone's saying, oh shit, it's you, and they're like, oh no, it's you. And they like, want to hang out and be famous together? Sure. <laughs> be famous together. <laughs> that's what happens in LA, man. Be famous together. Yeah, LA's yeah. Cr tr crazy. I never really came out here before all this, yeah, so now it's well, like, yeah. and now I'm out here like four or five days a week. You're about to be spending well. a lot more time out here. 
Yeah, that's what the label will be saying. <laughs> uh, so you still live in uh, Santa Barbara? Yeah, I'm still out there, yeah. I'm still, yeah. Um, except when they bring me out here for like all the promo and everything. But yeah, my days off or when I'm like when, when they give me like a day off or whatever, I go back home. Yeah. So so what's next? Like where do you, you work on an album now? You yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, bottoms up, we're going to rock it for like the next couple of weeks, you know, get it as big as it can be. And of course, but yeah, of course from there, man, I got a lot of cool shit. A lot of dope ass um, artists and producers have been hitting me up wanting to like work. And I'm fucking, it's grateful. Like, like when they, like Diplo and shit. Yeah, I was just was gonna cool. say Diplo. You Diplo gotta was, get in with Diplo. Diplo. No, yeah, he's trying to be, okay, yeah, okay. I already got the beat and shit. It's just, hit, uh, it's so pop that I gotta like, I wanna make sure, and it's Diplo. So I wanna yeah. make sure like when I come prepared, like with the verses and everything, that's like dope. I don't yeah. wanna, you know, just come with something cool. Cause he's just like, so basic. good at like taking the thing that's like bubbling in like culture and just, yeah. Shooting it out of here. Yeah, everyone I meet is like, Diplo's the shit. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, he's just I, good at that. He's just, yeah, he's just the cool ass. And have you met him in person? Yeah. Yeah, he's just the cool ass, like, chill yeah. down there at this fuck. Pro is on this. Like, I was shocked. Yeah, when I met him, too, I was like, this was cool as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, he's, that's about to be a hit. He's yeah. just good at sensing the moment when, when something is there and then taking it here. And then he'll have it in Vegas and he'll have his dancers and all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they'll just be like, whoa. Yeah. That's some he's shit. But, um, so, album. Just staying focused, working. Yeah, music, yeah. This is just Topping the it up. Yeah, it's just the beginning, man. I'm always trying to... I mean, I was always, like, I always wrote all my own music and did all this anyway, so now it's just, like, now I just got the label behind me, but I still got, like, the same drive and everything. And just now, it gave me, like, a gateway to connect with everybody, like, yeah. you know, bigger. But, yeah, I'm fucking... It's dope. Yeah. A lot of dope artists want to link up, and a lot of cool shit. So, yeah, just one day at a time, and I'm loving it. Yeah, <laughs> man. Okay, one thing about you that I noticed, and I noticed this even from, like, social media before I met you and then you just proved it now is you have just this like good positive attitude and like you may not know it it might just be how you are but the song has that in it you your social media like the way you do it and and I've met a lot of young artists and a lot of people that are popping especially when people are freshly popping even if they're positive, there's usually a little bit of ego or there's a little bit of like, yo, what's up, man? Like, you walked up, I said, what's up, I'm drama. You said, hell yeah, you are. Like, normally, you, like, you, are, you are like, yo, what's up, dude, you good? Like, you know, that's just kind of how people are. Like, where do you get that from? Have you always been that way? Yeah, man, I mean, I had like a really, like, I get, I had like a rough uh, upbringing and shit, like a kind of like, you know, uh, juvenile delinquent childhood. So, I mean, like, going from that to like something like this is like, how could you not be excited and pumped? Like, I don't know, it's just so crazy. Like, the way I grew up, and like, I was like on a fucking five by eight and sure, six by eight or whatever the fuck. Just getting out of that and like getting to do this is like a whole nother world. Yeah. So, I like, I love every day of it. That's why, like, yeah, like seeing people. And like, you, like, when I saw people on TV as a kid, I always just didn't even know they were really real. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I mean, just like, I'm just like a regular ass kid. So, like, when I get, now that I'm doing all this, it's crazy. Yeah. Like I said, it's like when you just find some random person on the street, like, we're gonna make you a star. And then they're like, <laughs> But it seems like you had to be like that a little bit before the song blew up. Well, just like just when, happy. Just good yeah, vibes. I've always been. A, yeah, I've always tried to give Pringle good vibes because like I came from like a troubled background and shit, and like the way I grew up and yeah, shit. You gotta, yeah. like, so I try to, you know, not in or when I have to, but like I try to keep a beat and cool for the fans and shit. Yeah, it's trippy. Any advice for like a, a kid listening right now that could be still in that bad sort of upbringing or that bad environment, yeah. like on how to, <laughs> yeah, what yeah. to do? Um. Fuck, just find something you want to do and just fucking uh, find, like, your passion and just fucking try to stick to it and not let, like, you know, of course, there's going to be, like, a lot of obstacles and uh, distractions and shit trying to prevent you from doing shit or, like, you know, of course, like, homies still try to hit me up to go kick. And it's just, like, you got to just know, like, when it's a good time and when it's not and just stay focused on what you're going to do. Like, even for me, music, like, I'd have to, like, there was times, like, nights when I'd just, like, have to sleep out in my car outside the studio just to be there early enough in the morning to, like, hit the studio. Like, you just got to have that hustle and shit and that drive. And just fucking keep pushing and I know some days are gonna seem like it's kind of like the fuck am I doing mm -hmm. but like I don't know that shit got me here so yeah. <laughs> so and I love it <laughs> yeah and then the other thing too that because I, I mentioned we, we talked about in the beginning how you came in with this unique style people gave you you know this weird reaction to it but you stuck to it any advice for someone that you know we hear a lot of stories about people who think they have something but maybe they're sort of pressured off it or they're worried about what other people think or whatever like that like do you have any advice for that person yeah i mean just fucking just stick to your shit i mean you know what's gonna even though sometimes it's like it's like you're making a music that's not like what everyone else is doing and maybe sometimes that's good it might take like a little bit longer of a road for everyone to catch on yeah. but i mean when they do catch on that's when you'll stand out even more i feel yeah. like when they do finally catch your wave you'll like be even more like have your own zone or have your own platform than like 
following everybody else and doing yeah. it their way. So I mean, yeah, but sometimes it could be rough. Yeah, you, I know a lot of artists just think, even I thought to myself, like, why don't I just do it their way or make my song like how their style is and shit. And then like, but that's not what got me here. It's kind of like being in my own lane is what got me here. So I mean, just stick, do what makes you, do what like, you know, do what you feel you should do and not like what everybody else is doing. Yeah. You know, that sounds kind of generic. No, it's, true, it's generic for a reason. Some of those things are like, you hear it all the time, but that's why, because that's it's true. You know, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what about like, so one of the biggest problems, I think, well, not problems, but obstacles for young artists, creators, anything, is just the sheer amount of content that's out there. And it's so hard to break through the noise of all that shit and become noticed or build a platform or build a following or yeah. whatever. Like, hey, I'm me over here. Yeah, like, yeah like, don't forget about yeah. me. And, and sometimes it almost feels like you have to, you know, a lot of the like um, shenanigans have become really popular. Like, you know, like rappers going out and pranking people or trolling people or shit like that for attention. You know, like people are trying anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've held, yeah. So. What do you think about like, what, what advice to a young artist um, like how you break through all of that shit. Um, when it comes to like drama, people trying to like get you involved. Well, just no, no, no. Just meaning like, how do you make a name for yourself? How do you build a following in this crowded? Because you've done it. Yeah. You've broken through all the shit, <laughs> and now. And even when he says it, I'm like, did I? Yeah, shit. You did, man. You <laughs> it's news to me. Yeah, no, yeah. Fucking, um, you just gotta like be yourself, man. I mean, I could have like, you know, people. Like, homies would hit me up, like, I, I don't know if they were serious, but maybe they're fucking around, like, yo, dye your hair a certain color and fucking, yeah. like, you know, go do, like, you know, do some off-the-wall shit to stand out. Like, I'm not going to tattoo my face and do, like, some crazy shit to, like, for people to notice me. I feel like a lot of artists are doing that nowadays. Like, yeah. they just got to do something wild and shit, get a rainbow haircut or, for you know, sure. what the fuck, or whatever. But nah, I've just always just been me. That's just, like, never, that's never been, like, appealing to me. If I did do something like that, I wouldn't feel like myself. Yeah. So, I mean, like, yeah. You know, like, my clothes are pretty, like, regular Levi's and shit. Like, yeah. but I mean, um. Yeah, just I don't know, stick to your guns, man. Don't let them change you, cause like I don't know, cause like you don't want to be like standing there like wondering who the fuck you are. Yeah. Like I don't know, but For sure. much I've seen artists do, they're just like, what do I do from here? Yeah, yeah. It's like that's true. Okay, here's I don't a know deep if that one. Your question, my bad. No, it does. <laughs> it does. Uh, here's a deep one. What do you want people to like? If if this all went away tomorrow, what do you want people to like? have gotten from your music from your whole thing like what do you want your fans to really grasp more than just oh that's a hot song just be like a genuine person man don't let like the music business like make you turn you into somebody you're not like I, i've been around for a minute and it's like i don't know i'm just like keeping it cool i don't really like get into all that hype and shit or i'm not into like getting into that crazy hollywood lifestyle it's just like fucking being yourself and believing in yourself even like when like even if i'm done tomorrow and shit i'd rather like people just know like it's better to just come in and be genuine, just be yourself and don't try to act like you're, you know, don't try to put on a front or act like you're too cool or like, you know, whatever, like, 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 like yeah. that's not me. Like people, have, even they told me like, you just act too cool or some shit. It's like, dog, that's not me though. I always just been myself and apparently people, people can sense when you're genuine, I feel like when you're just coming from like sincerity and shit instead of like, just be like, what's up, motherfucker? So I mean, yeah. just like, you know, be you, do you and just fucking, um, even if I'm gone, just know like, yeah, I mean, not a lot of, Latino Mexican rappers have made it, but you know, fucking, it can happen, apparently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like, fucking, yeah, just, just, I don't know, just be genuine, be yourself. Yeah. Don't let, like, don't let any of this shit, like, change you or make you, like, like you're all fucking and turn you into a diva or some shit. Yeah, I'm yeah, cool, yeah. I'm chilling. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. Hell great. yeah, drama the shit. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Guys, if you like that and you want to see more like it as well as vlogs, other web series, and all the random stuff that I'm doing here on YouTube, don't forget to click that subscribe button. You won't regret it. I promise.